Here's the Kaser 918 with a loading capacity of 1.8 ton and the bucket size is 0.85 cubic meter. Uh, the standard tire size is 20.5 slash 70 16. And this loader is equipped with the front quick hitch system, which is optional. And also, this loader has two extra auxiliary controls, which is very useful in the future for um, attachments such as snow plow, sweeper, auger, and the front dagger system, and so on. The loader is articulated frame, which is very uh, strong and nice. Um, on one side is the hydraulic oil tank, on the other side will be the, the, fi the diesel fuel tank. And the engine is Xinchai 498, it's 36.8 kilowatts engine, it's a four cylinder diesel engine. Also we have um, a Kohler EPA tier 4 final engine is available to mount on this loader. So um, if we need it to import North America, we can do that so. Also the loader has a rear extra auxiliary. And we have the 220 volts circula uh, circulating coolant heater, or we can have the 110 volts circulating the coolant heater. Which, if you need in Europe or somewhere that using the 220, we we have the 220, or in North America or Japan, we have the 110 volts system so uh, you will not to need to worry about uh, in the winter time uh, here's the new cabin also on here is the um, um, cabin heater and the front windshield fluid container Here we have the um, hydraulic oil pressure check. Um, you can connect a um, oil pressure gauge to, to test the pressure if there is something wrong with the system. Um, regular it's um, 1.6 bar. And uh, this loader is equipped with four wheel disc brake. Here's the view of inside the cabin, um, that's the um, adjustable steering wheel and um, here's the um, uh, suspended comfortable seat and um, it's the heater under the seat, that's optional, the handbrake, the joystick system, uh, the speaker and the radio, the fan there. Here's a view of the steering dashboard. This loader is equipped with the uh, air assisted, um, uh, it's equipped with air assisted brake system. So you got the air pressure here. Also on the dashboard here, you have the water coolant temperature, the battery charging voltage. Uh, that's the neutral forward, forward two, forward one, a reverse one, a reverse two. There's also a backup camera here. That's the neutral, and we have the fuel tank, 
engine gauge and uh, the, uh, the, the transmission oil temperature also the working hours and here on this gauge it's the transmission uh, oil pressure also this loader is equipped with the floating function and that's all the lights button and uh, the windshield wiper here is the joystick <coughs> which controls the boom arm and the bucket and those two levers controlling one controls the um, quick hitch or the first extra auxiliary control then this one controls the second extra auxiliary control I'll start the engine and let's um, hear the sound of the engine So this loader is equipped with the uh, return to dig function, which it means the bucket. Um, when you have a dunk in the bucket, and uh, basically you can just uh, lower the boom arm, in which the bucket will be automatically parallel to ground position. Then. Uh, will be ready for another load. Uh, op operation. It's very safe to do that. So 